it just keeps people in, in an illusion that um, money grows on trees, you know. We used to believe that babies come with storks, but now we believe that money grows in trees, you know. Well, I wouldn't say that because women don't turn to the the trees to get their money, they turn to the state. Women well, know exactly that's what, where the damn money that, comes from. In fact, what I mean, yeah, it's like a fairy no, but, tale. You know, no, nobody's working for you them. No, it's not a fairy tale. No, seriously, you don't give women that out. They know exactly where the money is. And you know what they do? Women, as a whole. This is how progressive and advanced and enlightened and empowered women are. Do you know what they do? They nag men to get money, and that's called feminism. They nag men to get money, and that's called feminism. Feminism is the most, ret I mean, political feminism is the most retrograde, medieval, primeval, prehistoric, cliched, female disempowering state of mind that can possibly be conceived of. See, when women are young, they get money through sexual market value. Feel like pouring some gold on my boobies? <laughs> I do, in fact, <laughs> because hormones. I get dick napped on a regular basis as a young man. That's what you do. Now, when women aren't attractive, they get money by finding a weak man and berating and controlling him and nagging him. Now, he's never going to make a lot of money because he's being nagged and ground into dust, but whatever money he makes, he's going to give to her, not to pursue the positive of sexual relations, but to avoid the negative of being nagged to fucking death. Right? Nagged to death. Here, take the money. Just please, shut up. Just Just shut up. Here. Go to the mall. Go to the mall and bitch at the people who are being paid to listen to you. Go to the mall and complain about something. Go to the mall and buy something. Go to the mall and stuff your face with whatever you can find. Go go and eat four pounds of spanakopitas. I don't care. Just go somewhere else. Get away from me. I'll give you money if you just go away. I'll give you money if you stop whining. I'll give you money if you stop complaining. I'll give you money if you stop nagging. Stop calling me horrible names. I'll give you money. Now, how is that any different than the relationship that feminists have with largely male politicians, with largely male with reporters, with the male media and the male political structure? Mm. We're going to call you sexist. We're going to call you women haters. We're going to call you misogynist. Unless you give us money, we're going to nag you to fucking death. Unless you give us money and power is there anything less empowering than making screeching polysyllabic bat like noises at people until they fucking clap their hands over their ears and give you shit just to go away and that's all that's happening this is the social justice warrior thing is just basically that i'm going to unleash torrent after torrent of verbal abuse against you Unless you give me money. It's a nutsack tightening shakedown. Balls in a vice. I'm going to fuck you up unless you pay me. Unless you pay me. Give me the money. Now, it has been noted that a lot of feminists are not the most attractive people in the planet. I mean, physically. So, you know, they can't get money out of sexual market value for being attractive. So they get money out of nagging. And the fact that this is, like, then they call this empowering. <laughs> well, I guess it is, right? If you don't want to earn your stuff and you're not pretty enough to get it for free, well, then you nag, right? I mean, nagging is, is uh, an attractive young woman has too many options to end up nagging, but an unattractive woman ends up nagging. I guess it beats working, right? And, and, and so she wants to set, now, nagging is not good enough because, of course, the man can get away. And so what you do is you nag politicians to make sure the man can never get away, can never get away, can never be free 
of your nagging ass can never get away. Because if he tries to get away and tries not to give you stuff, well, guess what? You'll nag the politicians until they send the police to go track him down and throw him in jail so that he'll give you stuff to, get, to stay out of jail. You could move away from a nag in the past. Now, you can't. You can't. The nag has achieved infinity status. The nag is everywhere. The nag is the air you breathe. It is gravity. It is light and dark and everything in between. It is the TV on. It is the TV off. It is the music playing. It is silence. It is everywhere and everything. It is the stars. It is the lava underneath your feet. It is everywhere. It is the alpha and the omega. You cannot ever escape. The nag. And look, I mean, it's not like all physically unattractive women are nags. Of course not. I mean, some wonderfully, wonderful non-physically attractive women who are great and, and excellent and fantastic. And But it is a basic... And because not all unattractive women are parasites. Not all attractive women are parasites. Maybe a little more on the attractive women side. But not all unattractive women. Are, but if you don't want to work for a living, uh, if you don't feel like working either inside or outside the home, well... You can, uh, in instead of getting resources because you're bringing something positive to the mix, you get resources by not nagging for 20 minutes. And uh, it's, a, it's a shitty and parasitical and horrifying way 